Here's the reason why Hal Steinbrenner and the Yankees won't get Juan Soto. It's those Mets. Those Mets are on the docket. Here, 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 here. Listen, 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 listen. There's only one thing that we want to talk about. I don't care about what's going on with, um, what's his name? Jeff McNeil. I don't care about Pete Alonzo's market. I don't care about what Mr. Mania, what Mania is going to get. I don't care about Garrett Crockett. I don't care about Blake Snell. I don't care about no one. Cor Corbin Burns. Don't care. It's all about Juan Soto. And Juan Soto met with Hal Steinbrenner. Met with a lot of teams. But how this is the one that I want to talk about. Because every Yankee fan at this point is so happy. Oh, my goodness. You know, he met with us. And now we have the inside track. The reports are Hal Steinbrenner met with Juan Soto and gave him reassurance that, hey, he's going to have a seat at the table. He's going to be involved in certain moves that are made. And, you know, they, they want his input. The relationship is going to be a sound relationship between player and owner. And according to reports, Juan Soto enjoys that type of dynamic. He had a good relationship with the or Washington Nationals owner. He had a very good relationship with the San Diego Padres owner, and he wanted the same type of rapport with Hal Steinbrenner. Well, according to the reports, everything went well. Meeting went great. They exchanged pleasantries, shook hands, and left. Hal Steinbrenner then goes on the radio and says, oh, well, you know, things went well. We, 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 we laid out our plan for him and was asked the question, well, are you concerned about Steve Cohen and those Mets, eh. I mean, you got to be concerned. Yeah, okay. You know, we, we, we laid it out for him and said that, hey, if it wasn't for us, Steve Cohen wouldn't be a man. He wouldn't be an owner in the league, which is true. You know, Hal did go to bat for Steve. And we appreciate you for that, Hal. We do. Hal also told Scott Boris that, hey, and, and Juan Soto, hey, listen, you, you see... Uh, Carlos Mendoza, we 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 uh, bred him to be a manager. That's our guy. See the guy in Philly, manager in Philly. That's our guy. We did that. So all of these places that you might want to go to, just know that the Yankee imprint is everywhere. We are the biggest brand in baseball. We have the most revenue. No one can touch us. That's their selling point. And it's a good one. But here's why I'm going to tell Yankee fans that although you might have felt good after hearing those reports, I'm here to burst your bubble. Because none of those things matter to Juan Soto. He could love the conversation that he had with Hal. He can love the fact that he's going to have a seat at the table and be involved in certain conversations and trades. He would love to have his name in Monument Park with Babe Ruth and Luke Gehrig and Derek Jeter and, you know, Reggie Jack, all of these greats. He would love to say, you know, with you, we're going to get back to the World Series again. Maybe win it this time. All of those things are nice. But if Juan Soto doesn't see the money that he wants, because all he wants, and he told you, right after you lost the, 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 lost the World Series, he didn't even wait. He said, cameras, zoom it and zoom it good. I want the money. I'm going to listen to everybody. I want to be the highest paid. That's literally what he told us without saying it. He didn't say, I enjoyed my time as a Yankee. We'll see what happens. But I love this year. I love the camaraderie that we had. I love the fact that we, uh, you know, we, we bogged down and we got to the, the World Series. We, you know, came up a little short, but 
you know, I really appreciate the time that I had here. And, you know, we'll see what happens in the offseason. I didn't hear that out of Juan Soto. I heard that everybody's on level playing field. Come get me. And that tells me that it's all about money. So for every Yankee fan out there, go ahead. Go ahead and go to your platforms. Go ahead and go to X and tweet and be on your forums and talk to your friends and say, man, we, those, we're going to stick it to those Mets. No, you won't. This is going to be the time where we're going to disappoint you. And I'm not even saying that he's going to sign with us. But I'm going to tell you that we are going to put an offer out there that if he truly wants money, that's all we're going to give him. We're not going to sell him on, oh, you could be the king of queens. You could be, hey, we're building up all. He don't give a damn about none of that. The last time the Yankees won a World Series, he was 11. You think he cares about history? We got two World Series. He probably don't even know what year we won them. And for me, I don't care. I don't need you to understand the history of the Mets. What I need you to do is take this 750 and be the highest paid player and come play for my team. So if Hal is not willing to pony up the $700 million that this kid wants and 701 because he wants to officially have the highest paid contract in the history of the game, that's all that matters. So you can be able to tell him all of this nonsense. Yankee fans can feel all glittery and jittery and happy inside. But if he ends up coming up short and we end up blowing him out of the water, he's coming to Queens. And that's a fact. And nothing else. Juan Soto. I'm predicting it right now. It's going to happen at the winter meetings. You're going to see the breaking news ticker at the bottom or maybe on your phone. I don't know. People on their phone now, they don't watch TV anymore. Breaking news. Is it going to be Ken Rosenthal that does it? Is it going to be uh, John Heyman that breaks the news? It might be John. Might be John. Juan Soto signs with the New York Mets for 15 years, $715 million record deal. That will be what's, what, what Juan Soto wants. That's what he's always wanted. Damn everything else. So keep fooling yourselves. Keep fooling yourself that the history of the Yankees is going to do anything. <laughs> you will see.